New at four, as war rages on in the Middle East between Israel and Hamas, there are calls here at home for Hamas to release the hostages they took earlier this month. The Israeli Defense Forces, or IDF, says more than 230 hostages have been taken captive. Today, some of their families met with Georgia lawmakers at the state capitol. Fox Vice Tyler Fingert is at the live desk with details uh, on that meeting. Tyler. Yeah, Christine, good afternoon to you. It was an emotional morning at the state capitol today as a number of Georgia lawmakers met with Israelis who say they have family members being held hostage in Gaza. They're here to raise awareness with the ultimate goal of bringing them home. The world should come together against terror. Shanice Segal joined other Israelis Monday at the Georgia State Capitol, and their message was clear. The hostages, all of them, not should be released. They need to be released. The Israeli Defense Forces say more than 230 hostages have been taken captive by Hamas. Segal says two of her family members are among them. If we let a terror organization take civilians from their homes today, they will come and take people from them their home tomorrow. The families made the journey to Georgia to bring awareness to their struggle as they fight to bring their loved ones home from Gaza. They met with state lawmakers from the Georgia Israeli Legislative Caucus and the Council General of Israel to the southeastern United States. The call to bring them home is the most basic human call and one that should be amplified and coming from every voice. The Georgia lawmakers the delegation met stood in solidarity with the families and the people of Israel. For Jews around the world, including these families and especially these families, we are in dark and dangerous times. Representative Esther Panich also used today's meet and greet to call on Governor Brian Kemp to use the special session of the General Assembly to bring up the anti-Semitism bill. Next month's special session was announced last week to deal with redistricting. I reached out to the governor's office to see if he's considering it. So far, I haven't heard back. At the live desk, Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. All right, Tyler, thanks so much.